Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl thing, <laughs> um, season 41 of CCL, uh, quarterfinal isn't it, this is a quarterfinal um, between Storr and his necro, Thomas T and his Dark Elves. In the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, PTK, hello. Hello, Matt. good evening little wrestlers. Hi, <laughs> glorious. I think uh, I think Stor's a big favourite here. I don't know about you. Um, there's no I've, I've been like you. I have no clue what's been going on. Uh, <laughs> I've been um, validating some game results. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> I can see he's playing. So he's made the win of this game. is meaning terrific. So right. try. So it will make a, it will be good fun if Stor wins oh, with yeah. his team name. That would be great, wouldn't it? Uh, and uh, we got Andy Dato in the other. Versus is Zindane. Interesting. Yeah, it's a huge favourite, isn't he, for the tournament, I think, is uh, Andy Davo. His team is streaks ahead of everyone else's. You could say it's about time. Is yes. that any chance we couldn't share your screen? <laughs> yes, sorry, I'm terrible at this. You'll have to <laughs> excuse me, I'm a beginner. Oh, otherwise, I have to start Blood Bowl. <laughs> God, no. I, I, I have been actually playing. I do plan to develop my last. Oh, you're all breaking up there. I couldn't really hear anything. Uh, so, I was just saying, I have actually played a bit this season. Wow. Planning to qualify last time with Amazon. So I what? could start, I could end the same way as us. Yeah, I saw your top three zones. Well, your top zones, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 1931. It's pretty shit. It was really good looking good and then. Everything died. The Uranians, dwarves, killed everything. But I should qualify, and then I can qualify last time with Amazons and get the turns for Amazon run. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> Make Dimmy eat his words. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but you never know. It all comes down to the brawl. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much luck in it and everything, isn't there? With like... Yeah, having, having a good team is like a third of it. <laughs> yeah. It's much more important what you run into and how guys behave in those games. Yeah. It yeah might, sure. This must be one of Thomas T's best friends in the playoff as well. He's normally there, but. <laughs> it's certainly one of his best teams, isn't it? Like, normally, uh, as Dimmy says, he's got like about three players <laughs> on the team. And... <laughs> it's just absolutely disastered. Oh no, it was fine here. I don't know why I thought Dimmy. Probably Dimmy. I was just Dimmy's on the brain with saying about Sons will never yeah, be chalice. Cool. But um, yeah, fine as Fimey was saying last time, um, normally his, his team's absolutely destroyed, isn't it? And this is the one yeah. time he's actually got like a functional team. So he's actually done all right for once. Yeah, yeah, he's must have qualified. <laughs> So many times with, with with Dark Elf, he seems to be there every season. And go out. It's an alright Dark Elf team. It's not. It's not the best Dark Elf team either we have seen. But that's those oh, five no. good players. Yeah, no, it's not a good team at all. But at least you know he's. I think he's qualified. Well, let's let's have a look and see. We we can look at the stats here. So he's he's qualified for thirteen for seven chalices. And he's probably had about thirty-six players on those on those seven teams. <laughs> so compared to normal, and Dark Elves, and like Elves are hard. We are quite fine this season in the Cup as well, and it's probably not been much better when it's done. Yeah, it's like it's crazy how he's like. He's probably he's averaging about six players on each team he's qualified. So now he's actually got a full, not even a full eleven. I think he had twelve. Oh no, now he's got eleven. So yeah, it's going to be hard with eleven players, isn't it? Because Necro can foul quite well, can't they? How much uh, bench does Stor have? Three. He talks a little uh, before yeah, He can uh, he can have fun all night all night long. <laughs> if he can knock uh, anything down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. That's it. It's not the best Necro team. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it really isn't. <laughs> but he does have two tackle mighty blue. That should be three tackle, three tackle, right? Yeah. Two yeah. of them. 
one with frenzy and two tackle. Right, this is a little bit tricky though, isn't it? Because that, that blood stepper is on the edge of the cage and you know it's I guess the the good thing is that if Thomas T goes for it early, then at least he's got the rest of you know he's okay, he's got the most plays he's gonna ever have right now, but then also the earlier he starts going for the ball, the more time you've got to tee off on him, haven't you? Yeah. If it works out. Does, do we have any inducements? Just a babe for Thomas T. Okay. One babe. Uh, could be helpful though already. Yeah, you're already two kills. Yeah, it's. Is that it? It strings four eighty six switch. Yeah, you definitely don't stand firm there, because then you can not stand firm again, can you? Yeah. Hello, little guys. Yeah, and now it's three plus two plus out again. Which he, of course, does because he saved his six. <laughs> yeah, he had to, didn't he? That could have been a very juicy foul if that, if that witch had been knocked down. Or failed the dodge, even. I'll, I'm sure we'll see that witch of front for its life. <laughs> all game. Uh, Thomas will be blitzing with it every turn. Yeah. Yeah, this is live, Will Baz. As and you can see as you can see from the timer on the right hand side, clicking down, taking ages. <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing about it. Yeah, the replay is being snappy is good, isn't it? Like, although I'm you get less time for conjecture and what have you, like it's good that it's like bish bosh bash done, isn't it? But it also means you can. Stop the time, stop the turn if there is something really interesting. That's true, yeah. Does he try and go up this way? But then you don't want to, you don't want to abandon this tackler, do you? But on the other hand, this is a dodgy it's... place to hit. Now like you going back, you want to go, you want to be going forward, don't you? But he looks like he is going back. Risky. Yeah, looks... Taking on that and mess up. It's a two in a one, isn't it? Oh no, not if he hits from there. Okay. Yeah. Clever. But not it's so uh, but it's bad if he doesn't go down. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was very bad if he didn't go down, but oh. he killed him. <laughs> the bean. That's surely the apple. Yep. Fails. And it. Well, doesn't fail. Does doesn't doesn't keep him on the field. like it stops the death, which is which is somewhat relevant, isn't it? With three, if he should win, not, not, yeah. But if he wins, it's <coughs> then it's fine. It's back for the final. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's bad for the game though. But he needs to have. You only have five good players, and one of your good players gets. That was kind of what will happen. That's the problem with putting those two good players in. Yeah. Yeah. He's paid the ultimate price. But that's now it's if Storm wasn't favourite, he probably definitely is now with <laughs> being three players up yeah. in his drive. Tom has already lost one of his best players. And that ball's gone. I'm not sure the extra zombie is going to matter much with three bench already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is an advantage, but yeah, very small one. I'm pretty sure that's not that was not the main. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why does he? Because um, when we did the Super League, changed everybody's like. You know, logo for a for a custom one, and then Dave had chosen the 
default Dark Elf one, probably because he just doesn't give a shit about what the logo is. And Thomas T's chosen the default one because he probably doesn't give a shit what the logo is. <laughs> so there yeah. you go. That's interesting. The logo is actually the one few things when I did Blood Bowl 2 teams I normally actually picked. Because some of them I just find annoying looking at myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, I cannot give a yeah, F about player names and stuff like that. But the, some of the logos are just annoying. <laughs> and you have to look at them for the whole game. Yeah, fair enough. I always like the axe for the uh, for the dwarves, like the lightning axe, because yeah. it looks like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just a good reason they'll send me. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, if he gets a push here, it's bad as well, isn't it? Because of the stand firm, so yeah, this is... I am indeed, Lil Baz, yep. Stor does have least, to like, go forward at some point, doesn't he? So At least mentally still uh, 13. Yeah. yeah, he still needs to get forward on one phone, but with being three players up, at least it makes it less of a hurry. Yeah. But it probably Back elf is often if you don't get forward with all the plus then they will just lock you down and you will have to scramble to get there. Exactly, yeah, that's why I wasn't that big a fan of that blitz last time, but obviously it worked out perfectly. Um, it's hard to argue against taking out one of the really good players, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't just a like this is an obvious blitz, isn't it? Like sometimes it's just super obvious that you just go for the best player or whatever. Or is that time it was a bit dodgy? It's probably your best cage, which isn't terrible, I guess. In the elves, mine it. And your pill with wrestle. Yeah, it's definitely is. Uh, he's he's getting super aggressive now. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, imagine, yep, that golem is going out as well. I would have liked that golem to have been one square further forward. T B H. I don't know why, but I would have done. <laughs> yeah, I can see that because it's golem to want to get the moves out of the when you can. Mm. Does Thomas T now try to just regroup things in front? I'm just gonna come I think you, you hit that guard right and then you hit the next one, the next goal, zombie, and see what happens. Yeah. Huge removal. The age. He could have uh, he could have one D this zombie, couldn't he? And then if he powed him, <laughs> dodge him around, and then gone for uh, like a three plus, uh, two plus to two D the ball, that would have been all right. What? Yeah, he would have still been stood, but it would have been a three, a three four to hit the ball. Wouldn't have been terrible, would it? No, and it's. Question: How many times you get anything from store? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like it's it's pretty desperate for Thomas T, isn't it? He's got to rely on like low chances you'd expect. Um, yeah. Down three players already, and obviously Stor is pretty good at the blood balls. So. But besides being German and toxic, he's also pretty good at blood ball. <laughs> yeah. We the doodle is. Oh. And, uh, yeah, in a in a slightly different. I mean, 
the one re the, the, the doubles got in there too. What that is? Yeah. Gets the pow. Fishes for the pow and gets it. Disgusting. Oh, and the kill. Oh man, he's got he's got a foul now, hasn't he? He's got to set up a big gang foul. That the witch, uh, that that witch elf should uh, should be bye bye. Because he's got he's got the dirty player free as well. Yeah, put him in there and then frenzy his ass off. A little bit dodgy if he gets some. Oh, he's got friend friends. Oh so, yeah, he doesn't get another hit. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's a bit of a balls up, isn't it? Maybe he should have blitzed there. I'm not going to see a foul now. Reroll? Yeah. Yeah, might have to. Like it or not. The rare, the rare animation of the werewolf knocked down and no follow, isn't it? That's a. Uh... A lesser seen animation in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> so many. There's the dirty player hiding. Oh, it's over there, yeah. Yeah, you brought him in for that. For like a follow up. Potential follow up. If you didn't use Fen. Hello, Sato! Yeah, there's uh, the size the fence has some weird interaction. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to you've got to blitz him as though he's gonna not use fend. Like you've yeah. got to set up the assists as though he's not gonna use fend, because obviously if you don't he'll frenzy trap you, but then he is gonna use fend and not get hit again nine times out of ten. <laughs> Unless you've delivered, unless you, he's left a frenzy trap on us, or a frenzy opportunity if you're Space Cadet. <laughs> but it's still. Yeah. But now it's looking very bad. Very bad for Thomas T. He's got to get something in the way, otherwise, Stall will be moving up very rapidly indeed. Yeah. But what you can with Frenzy, obviously, in real life scenarios, you can uh, sidestep next to the Frenzy and fend and stop Frenzy, which mm -hmm. you shouldn't be able to. So, Blood Bowl 2 give you some extra options. Yeah. Um, with the Frenzy sidestep. Apparently, it also stops piling on, even if you stay next to him. Does it? Apparently, I haven't double checked that. Somebody said that when I complained about the normal Frenzy. Exactly. But it makes sense. <laughs> but it, but that, it will make sense if friends if they got friends inside the room that they also got if you. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I piled on people who sidestep next to me, and I was like, Why Yeah, but with friends. Piled on them. But with friend. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about with friend. Yeah. Yeah, they could have had friend. I don't know. Because that's that's the interaction with the friends that they got. They'll not be totally surprised if they <laughs> if they had screwed it on a no, <laughs> and that one as well. But you never know. That's the beautiful. Yeah, again, again, Stor being a little bit greedy and prioritizing uh, player usefulness over like position, hasn't he? Yeah. But, uh... He's gotten away argue. with it until now. Yeah, can't argue with the results. Certainly working. <laughs> oh, the double GFI foul. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> gets the cast. Greed pays Dirty. off there massively. Dirty Dino. Toxic motherfucker. <laughs> and yeah, there's not a lot to stop him, so it does appear right that the, uh, the greed was correct there. But this is an uphill on the ball easily, isn't it? Not going for it. I thought I would have gone for that. Like, what else are you going to do? 
<laughs> Tackler could have even tried it. Like it's so terrible. Everything's so terrible. What else are you going to do? Yeah. Like this basing him isn't going to achieve anything, is it? Realistically. Like it might, but... You're if so anything, it might achieve, achieve that the witch... That he's heading that blitzer instead of a witch elf or something squeezier. Yeah. No, I've got to go for a minute. I'll be right back. Another KO Blitzer. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, sort of. Yeah, the sidestep bend is not that old. And there's not that many players that could really utilize it. Many alpha left. String folds dead. Two cast come chaos. It's pretty much over, isn't it? Harrow Volk. Yeah, it's. Um... Yeah, those two casts is not just random linemen. So it's actually. Yeah. Two of the, well, the two best players, in fact. The players. Yeah, the absolute best team players. Yeah. Interesting. I think it's been pretty greedy from store. Yeah. It's definitely paid off, hasn't it? Definitely have. He's getting full value from uh, for the money. Yeah. Um, they, they weren't. They weren't it hits for no reason. Like Store did have to sacrifice position to go for these kind of greedy hits. Yeah, but they were still on. They just they weren't. Uh, and he lost two players killed on turn one, which obviously made. Yeah, I think a thing is it's, it's the early start, right? Because because he get rid of all that in first turn means he can kind of get away with it mm -hmm. better than. Yeah, it wasn't like moronic play from <laughs> from Thomas T. It was. He was down to nine guys, and he he got up in the face a little bit, but it wasn't. It was just rough, wasn't it, for him, really? Obviously, store targeted the best players and got them. 
Look a dog. The man kiss me crawl. <laughs> Got the, we've got the king of shoreboarding in the booth. <laughs> the, the original toxic shoreboarder. <laughs> One and only. Horrible. Yeah, this is fucking over. <laughs> to be honest, even if he gets all three back, he's got nine players and down his two best. That was, that was pretty bad chaos as well. Yeah, yeah, two out of five is would have been good without, babe. without without a beard, but yeah. Uh -huh. It was a half time yoga. Well done, eagle eared Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a half time yogurt. He's trying to one turner. Gets to pow. <laughs> he rolls it into the skull. <laughs> it's all. I do feel a little bit like starting with two KOs early on, which means that Star could play Green <laughs> Yeah. yeah into. It's not been much going here. Killing Thomas as way. Disgusting. Oh well, sorry. Sorry for being disgusting. Oh, hey, he's, hey, got hey. One. he's got three out of five with bibs. Oh my god. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? Two chances. Five KOs and he had two chances at them. So he was like, eight, he was eight out of nine to get each one back and he only got three out of five back. Brutal. So yeah, this is fucked. Uh, no, uh, the, the kind of healthy bullshit one, like pretend healthy, Activia. The pretend healthy one. Oh. <laughs> you can be my wingman anytime. No, oh, glorious. Bullshit. You can be mine. Thanks for the red sea brawls. Welcome to a completely done game. <laughs> <laughs> in half time. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, it's seven L's been an in incompetent game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seven L's versus versus uh, you know one of the best players in Blood Bowl. So yeah, I think he's fucked. <laughs> it's just basically you know we're gonna have to sit here for another hour because Blood Bowl's slow as fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's and, I, and it's not even. It's got three tackles. There's just no redeeming. Yeah. No redeeming factor whatsoever for Thomas D in this matchup. Yeah, it's so brutal, isn't it? When you're down players, you just can't deal with the wolves. Like, even if both sides are down players, it's so hard. It's like both sentinels, isn't it? Like, as soon as there's a few players off the field, the wolves are just like undealable with. And yes, yeah. that's, what it's, that's what it's like now for Thomas T. It's just how does he how does he stop the walls? He can't. He, he just can't, can he? And and they're, they're move eight and they're frenzy and they're, and they're tackle and he's just he's. Yeah, he can try to go fast and hope to get really really lucky. Yes, he can, but I mean that's that's all he's got, isn't it? A wing and a prayer. That's it's not. <laughs> There's no counterplay, he's just got a hold. Potato yeah, and hold. Potato it in, go and hope that the 823 fucks up the ball, pick up like two times. Yeah. And that's kind of the out there is there. Yeah. And hello Rochelle and hello Pedro and yes Andy Davos this is this was Andy Davos logo in the uh, in the BBSL season one. And it's still here. In my in my game, I haven't changed my logos pack. 
Maybe because I'm lazy. Nobody knows. Maybe. <laughs> exactly, C Rod, yeah. Buff Rowdy. <laughs> well, how can you look anywhere but a K Fog's glorious pink bunny physique? <laughs> <laughs> might, uh, he might kind of wish he had the opportunity to jump over from Blood Bowl to 2022 20, now. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to be caged in. But oh, another. <laughs> Yeah, if he could jump over that down player, he'd be all right, wouldn't he? I mean, it wouldn't be great odds, would it? Would it be a, th it'd be a three plus leap, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be a three plus Anything leap. is better than staying there. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, but I was thinking it'd be a four, but it'd be a three plus leap, wouldn't it? Which wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it would be all right. So yeah, he could leap everyone over and get through. It would actually be looking pretty, or like this would not be safe, would it? Well, obviously, Stor wouldn't play like this. If you People Hopefully like not. But, it, <laughs> but to be fair, he has left the 3 plus 2 plus out anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's 3 plus 2 plus and everybody screws into the middle on 3 plus 2 plus. Yeah, and there's no, there's no tackle, is there? And uh, the blitzer in the middle can uh, go to, to right and around to make the other side screen off from the tackle mighty blue in the middle. Yeah. Well, Thomas exactly is not a... He's, yeah, straight in. I've, I've, yeah, I've looked at anything. The positioning unfortunately cuts out his floppy penis. Oh my god. Do you mean the picture of Kerfog? Yeah, it's it's cropped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... Was that already? Oh, dear. Oh, phew. <laughs> yeah, now he might need to just tack it. They tackled, double tacked it. Instead. This guy. Shouldn't this guy have gone first? Because he could go out on a two and a three. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. This guy should have gone first, shouldn't he? One, two, three. Yeah. Because he got dodged. Yeah. But I think he's thinking he's sized the tackle. He sized the dodge that he's holding on all three players. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah fair enough. He's 30. <laughs> oh, man. So few players, it's, it's kind of easily dealt with, isn't it? Yeah, but one, two, three, four, five. But it, this does mean that he needs to release Dutch, the witch, uh, the werewolf down there. Yeah. And three plus can fail. It can. There's diamond tackle on this one, isn't there? Actually. Is that diamond? Oh yeah, so it's a five plus. Yeah, so now, does he just go for a 1D? He's going to foul first. <laughs> I don't hate it, because if Thomas T score, you that anyway. And it's a KO, that's the same as a Castle team this game for Thomas T. <laughs> yeah, he's goes for the 1D. Wrestle. Got him. And now just do the dodge, right? Because even if it fails, at least you put yeah. it on the ground. And he makes it because that's how the world works today. Oh, this is I can understand it. Custerous. I mean, it was the obviously right thing to do. But 
still kind of tragic for Thomas T, isn't it? <laughs> it's just nothing going his way. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Rest in pepperonis. I mean, he wanted, he had to blitz anyway because he had to like score, didn't he? So yeah, he was never going to jump up block him. Maybe he did it so that he'd hope that he would jump up block by accident and then not be able to score. <laughs> and then he gets to both down and old shoulder kind of bad. Yeah. Boring safe moves first here. <laughs> are we going to see a double GFI foul? I think we are. I think that's why he hasn't made a safe move first with that uh, with that zombie. Yeah. Must be. But now he will do it because he didn't get the power there. So now he'll just try and be a bit safer. I think he was going to go for the foul. Had he, uh, had he got the knock down there. Ooh. Now there may be a chance for Thomas T. Maybe a chance. Maybe a chance. Tiny little chance. Yeah. Yeah. I believe I, he will take anything right now. Just do you just. That's God, that's God. You just take the one dice and uh, the werewolves. Yeah. And see what happens. Not into the ball because it's just. 2 plus out, 3 plus pick up, 2 yeah. plus out, and he scores. Oh, he's blocked Which his sound with... He's blocked his No, he, no he's jump up with... Oh, fuck off. Oh, yeah, jump up one. But still, and 1, plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's a GFI. But I guess it was a 3, yeah, so it's... He had to go this way anyway. And used his last reroll on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Rip. Woo! One hour three again! Oh my god, his girl rolls have been horrendous! <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Wow. He's had six like players killed. He's had so many rolls at them. Yeah, that's it's the worst babe ever. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, playing against better. Twelve. I think he's made four out of twelve, something like that. <laughs> no, three plus. Wait a bit. Yeah. So so he's playing. He's playing a better team and a better coach, and having crap and and getting nothing going his way in the kid either. Yeah. It's pretty damn brutal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, bought a keg, not a babe. Yeah, yeah. It's totally too. It's ridiculous sexism to have a Budweiser babe. It has to be a keg. I mean, to be fair, it makes more sense. <laughs> I still, yeah. A little bit. 
we'll get the tribe chasers versus tribe, probably. Probably, yeah. A necro mirror. How sexy is that? <laughs> Not very, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be better. brilliant. <laughs> it's better than lizard mirror. Yes, anything's better than lizard mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's a low. That's a low bar. <laughs> Lizard mirror. Oh, he somehow balls this up, hasn't he? Uh, um, he, so. the problem was Thomas' team got two KOs and the line of scrimmage, which mean try could not try store could just keep going for the high target values because he was already already players up. So it's kind of I don't. I'm not sure there was too much he could. No, there wasn't. I thought I thought Storm messed this up a bit though. With you know, look. Luckily for him, there's there's so few players left that it's not really going to matter. But I think that was a bit of a. You know, you haven't hit him with tackle. That's like that's got to be bad, hasn't it? It's, it's being a bit lazy, maybe. Yeah. Compliant because everything is going good to you. Yeah. This is pretty Gucci as as far as Gucci things go, this oh, is oh, pretty Gucci. We got it there! Oh, he can get that ball and then if he misses to get him down. That's all we need. But has no rerolls, it's still pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still all frenzy, kind of yeah. bad. I was thinking he didn't have the tackle in the frenzy, but he had to he he's got friend anyway, so you and you want this guy next to the ball, obviously, so But still, I don't know, he could have had three dice, couldn't he probably? Or something. I don't know, maybe he's being harsh. But he's probably not giving a hundred and ten percent anymore, is he? Because <laughs> there's like six elves left. <laughs> it's pretty easy to be complacent when there's six elves on the yeah. field. I, I, it's hard to blame him, isn't it? Yeah. How much more? How much do you do? I saw some taste. That's a three plus two plus to get the witch elf into the middle. Yeah, yeah. Do that and then just go for the stupid dodges through. Yeah, but that's only that's four plus three plus. That's not even that bad. Oh yeah. Besides the new Thomas T. Yeah, it's never gonna work. But <laughs> in this game, it's never gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have tried to get the witch elf for, through first. Yeah, me, t me too. Just because if, if you miss the pick up next turn, at least you have two options. Yeah. No Fowler over here as well. Fowler is Ubersonic. But this time he picks it up like a chat. Yeah, and that's pro pretty much game, isn't it? Yeah. Going for the block foul. It's a zombie. <laughs> oh, I got a brine. He's sick. <laughs> no, oh, did you get a bribe as well? Like, literally nothing has been going Thomas' way, has it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Brutal. Not to take anything from anybody, but... <laughs> There's definitely nothing here. No, yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say this is a dicing. And, you know, it didn't have to be a dicing either. No, that's the, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, if exactly. anything, Thomas kind of needed to dice him a bit. Yeah. Um. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. Might skip to the end. <laughs> Fast forward to the end, please. <laughs> It was nice to actually skip to the end in my game today versus Flicky where it was over and it was res, so I was just like, let's just skip to it. <laughs> that was so much better. Oh, good. That was so much better than having to pointlessly play out the next, you know, five turns over the next 15 minutes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've got to do everything. Like, you know, obviously they've both got to try and do everything they can, haven't they? They've Store's got to do it perfectly so that there's no comeback, and Thomas D's got to try some stupid bullshit. Obviously, Store wants the SPPs in the right place, if he can get them in the right place as well. Maybe. He's he's gonna kill enough. Them. Is that or is that anybody? Not really. Oh, this Flash Golem, but he's too far away. Maybe not. Maybe he double G if I this Flash Golem. Oh, it's 1-1, one, one, so he can't. Well, he did. But it's 1-1, one, one, so he, he can't, can he? Can he? No, I think he's got hey, it depending on uh, the elves. I think it depends on the amount of elves uh, laying around. I think a 1-1, one, one, I think you don't try for the handoff to be uh, fleshy. You've always been so boring. I know. I mean, maybe you could have done that. I think... There's only three cars, like, if you lose the toss and they've got eight L's, they can score. Yeah, yeah, I think it, it, you you need to make be absolutely sure. Yeah, if you 1-0 up, then obviously you go for the under. But at 1-1, one, one, I think. I mean, Rick would Rick would do, obviously, <laughs> but I think Rick would be wrong in that case. <laughs> even if it even if it's successful, as it obviously would be, <laughs> I still think it would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's just so tempting in a situation like here. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's close enough. Like it's it's not that many good players left. No, it's true that the best players are out, and he would only have eight players. But I mean, he nearly scored on his drive. Yeah, this it was it was not even crazy. Like he could at least have standing with the ball, and then if he had five plus with on four dice to get it back free. Yeah, I think yeah, that's that would not have been outrageous. Yeah. Safely end the turn. <laughs> yep. Wonderful. They'll be saying things in uh, <laughs> in the chat saying GG, GG, well played. Thanks. <laughs> what a great game. Yeah, it wasn't much of a game, was it? It was. It was like, yeah, you know, Thomas T needed to get a bit of luck. <laughs> he needed to get quite lucky to win, I think. I think without a wizard, I think Storr was, was a big favourite in this. And I feel like Thomas T had to play well and get lucky. And unfortunately for him, he, he was not the one that got lucky. <laughs> it was it was Storr that was the one who got lucky. And it made it pretty, pretty brutally one-sided. So there you go. Congratulations, yeah. Storr, baby. <laughs> And uh, thank you very much, PTK, oh, for coming on and doing some glorious commentary. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been ages, like, last time. It has, yeah. It has been a while. So lovely to have you in again. That's why I thought I did spot a store asking. Well, let's jump on it. Glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>